I noticed that I haven't done a vlog for a while, but uh, since I've been doing a lot of blogs lately for 2011, so if you have any idea what I've been doing, what am I up to, that's easy. Just go to myspace.com slash chat fry slash blog. So I've been doing pretty much that almost every week. So what makes this more interesting for me doing a vlog on this one? Well, this would be very interesting. So from the last couple months, I've been trying to get a hold of Nathan Doubt, that who is responsible, Let's Bomb the World, Tribute Life, Sex and Death, he produced Say It Again, and did a second record with me with Begging for More. So as the announcement I did since probably about April, I think it was, April 1st, I announced I'm going to put out a Rarities EP. It's titled Doubt and Out Rarities 2009-2010. That, as it, just bringing up the announcement, um, recently the CDs has just arrived. I am undecided what to do with these at the moment, but I am planning to do something with that in the next couple, or say this upcoming weekend. That I am planning, to, uh, interested in releasing it, uh, I would say sometime June. I already premiered The Joy of Cola, that was on April Fools. That's the Pepsi jingle famously done by Britney Spears. <clears throat> so, it's, instead of just talking about the upcoming release, I'm going to talk about how, why the name and what's really going on. A few months after uh, Begging for More was completed, I was originally was planning to come up with a remix EP um, involves with Begging for More and I never actually done a remix before and okay things were starting to get going and so far I haven't heard any updates and nothing's taken place since Randy owned this uh, owned the studio for Central 8 uh, late 2010 he sold the studio and he's now moved to uh, I think it was Houston, Texas and launched another studio there. So since then um, it got um, sessions have gone tripled uh, swamped. I have I have tried everything I could to get a hold of Nathan and see how, how the projects going and so far it just wasn't really going anywhere. He has never um, ex uh, returned phone calls, emails, and the only thing I do get response back from him is when he's promoting um, his own material when he's doing shows around the area, and that's it. So I think this is pretty much where taking its toll, uh, and I guess you can pretty much say as part of it, the announcement, why it's called Down and Out Rarities, and that means I am parting ways with Nathan Doubt. I had a blast working with him for two years. I mean, he is an incredible musician. And I think pretty much me and him accomplished more things than I could ever imagine in two years of what I mentioned earlier. We did it. First stuff we did together was doing Life, Sex, and Death covers. And I produced my own record. And then he was there as well. And then doing another record with him. And now he can add this Rarity ZP added to his resume. So I guess you can call it this. What I'm doing now after Central 8. We're calling it now as the next chapter. So there's a lot more exciting things coming up. And I definitely... I think it's going to be worth the wait. So all you got to do is stay tuned. Do check out my blogs and upload some new music. And just hang in there. <laughs>